All right, welcome to part three of our maze. In part three, what we're gonna be doing is setting up our pickup items. What you wanna do first is make sure that, your, that you have your um, item selected. And we're gonna do Shift S. And we're gonna put the cursor to selection. So we'll put our cursor on our little character that's moving around. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our pickup item. So you go to Add Mesh and you can select like the UV sphere or the cone or the monkey something solid like that the circle doesn't work too well because it's a circle you can't see it I'm gonna go ahead and select cone and I'm just gonna leave the default settings on the cone and click OK and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit S and I'm gonna size it down so it'll fit let's see S We'll size it down here. And you know what? I'm going to give it some color. So I'm going to go to editing, new. I'll give it a color. Alright, so what we're going to do is go to the logic button. And you want to make sure that it's on dynamic. Actor will be selected and bounds will be selected. And in order to set it up so that when our little Pac-Man guy touches it, what we have to do is go to the logic button here and we're going to add a sensor, controller, and an actuator. Our sensor is going to be on near and you can set the distance. We're going to leave it at one but if you want it to be where it's a little harder so that when you have to get like right up on it and touch it it goes away you can always make that like 0.5 or 0.75 anything less than one will make it more sensitive so set up the near sensor then you're going to co connect the sensor to the controller we'll leave the controller on AND and we'll set uh, connect the controller to the actuator our actuator is going to be on edit object and then instead of add object here we're going to click on this little box to the right and we're going to select end object and that's going to make our object disappear when we get near it. So once you've done that, go ahead and hit play or P on your keyboard to play and try it out. See as I get near it, it goes away. Okay? So once you have that for this first level that we're making, let's go ahead and do shift D and duplicate it and let's add let's say five of them for this first level that we need to pick up so shift D will duplicate it add five around your maze okay and if you want to have different items that's fine you could always go to add mesh we could add a monkey or something and I'll scale him down We'll put him over here. And you want to set up the properties, dynamic, bounds. We'll add our sensor, our controller, our actuator. Remember, sensor is going to be on near. Connect the controller to the sensor. Connect the controller to the actuator. And then make your actuator on edit object and end objects. And then once, let's give him some color. Give our monkey some color here. There we go. There we go. And we can view them from the top here. And then you can go around your maze and you can collect your pickup items. Make sure they all work. There we go. And then once you have that, go to File and Save. Once you have your work saved, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that when you pick up a certain amount of items, it'll count them. And then we can make it so that it'll take you to the next level. Okay, so once you've done that, save your work and then move on to Part 4.